So how much would you say you know about fireworks, huh? <laughs> well, if you're anything like me, you don't know too much. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Log.zip here, and welcome to a special video where we talk about Minecraft fireworks. Yes! Fireworks! The one item to truly confuse me to no end. It goes up in the air, it blows up. But, how do you make them? How do you make all those crazy ones you see? I've personally really never gone out of my way to make fireworks in survival modes of Minecraft. Look at all the different things involved in making fireworks. Half of you probably don't even know where to begin. And the other half of you probably don't know what these things are over here. Well, they're two firework launchers, and we're gonna be showing off what each and everyone, as in both of them, <laughs> do in this video, as well as all the different things you're going to need to make your own firework launchers, as well as make your very own custom fireworks. The two launchers themselves were Created with inspiration from Koala EIO, so big thank you to that person for the uh, instructions for the most part on how to make these two different tutorials. Uh, we're going to be covering, again, how to make both of them. Could not be simple enough, as well as all the different modifiers you can add to your very own fireworks. So I hope you enjoy this different Minecraft video. If you want to see more videos like this where I show you survival redstone stuff or just underutilized features of Minecraft, then do make sure you drop a like rating on the video. And of course, be subscribed for future Minecraft content, including more stuff about fireworks. Maybe. That's just a close-up of a chest. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Let's get into it. So first thing you're going to see is I got a bunch of junk on me, which we're going to slash clear because we don't really need any of those things on us at this current moment but yes fireworks activated through dispensers you can see them blowing up at a distance look at that it's lovely it's lovely you got the rapid fire action going strong it's good i know you like it don't worry about that one that one blew over there for no certain reason so in order to make yourself a firework as you saw here you're gonna need a multitude of things but before you can make the rocket you're gonna need to make the firework star now, the firework star is comprised of three different elements. You have your colors, you have the modifiers, which change the explosion type, and then you have your secondary modifiers as well. These are all going to go into play when making your firework star. So we're going to just grab some gunpowder. We're going to grab, in fact, I'm going to pause. So everything you see here is going to go into making the firework ball. It's very simple. You could have something extremely simple, something as simple as this. You now have yourself a firework star, as in the ball involved. You could technically be finished here. We could just do one gunpowder with one yellow dye, and, and, then, and then you combine that with one piece of paper, one more gunpowder, and you have the simplest of rockets. Simple. That's all you want. We can get out because we're going to go a little bit more complex than that. But we're going to worry about the papers and the extra gunpowder in just a little bit. Essentially, gunpowder and firework stars are involved in making a totally shapeless recipe. You can throw these babies wherever you want, essentially, within, and you'll get your firework star. Now, the colors are what we're going to focus on first. You can do up to eight colors. You can get an ultra pink firework star. But you're not going to want to do that because you're not going to have room for other modifiers. You can do up to eight colors. Do not recommend you do up to eight colors. We're going to just choose three for now. One, well, one pink, one yellow. You can see they combine. They'll actually combine live. We want to do blue instead. It will combine the pink and the blue to get a slight purple. It will combine all three of those. You get a gross orange. You can get a nice green by doing that. You can even do white and black to lighten or darken things up. And you can go multiple colors. And you can see here we've got uh, not the nicest color in the world. So instead, we're gonna get rid of those. We're gonna do that. And let's just throw in, hmm, we'll throw in a nice white. So we got a nice light bluish kind of purple. Right, next we have our special modifiers. Uh, <laughs> I actually put a modifier in there a second ago. You have yourselves feathers, Fire chargers, creeper heads, although this can work with any player or, you know, Minecraft skull, and of course, gold nuggets. Now, the feathers are going to cause a little bit of a burst effect. The fire chargers are going to cause a large ball. If you don't add anything, it's a small ball. The gold nuggets are going to add a bit of a star explosion effect. And of course, the player heads will add a creeper face upon explosion. Here are those different ones now. So again, large ball, creeper shaped, small ball, star shaped, burst. You could take it a step further and add the fade twos while we are doing this. And that is essentially once you've made your firework star, you can cause the firework to fade 
to a different color. We're going to touch base on that at some other point. But for now, you have your firework balls. This is where you'll go back, grab your papers, grab some additional gunpowder, and you wrap it, the paper and the gunpowder, with your firework star to get the final effect here. This will add flight duration, cause it to go up in the sky, make go boom. Right? Right. So, step at a time, you can do it. In fact, you can actually just do it a little bit easier by doing it like this, you see? Boom, there's your firework star. You can add the next ball in, bada boom. You can add the next ball in, bada boom. Missed one by mistake, you add the next ball in, bada boom, a bada boom. You could even have something real plain like this as a firework, but it won't explode, it won't do anything. It'll literally just shoot off into nothing. So add your firework star, otherwise it's not gonna do jack. Okay. So we now have our five different fireworks, and we'll show you off each one. We're going to go into game mode one very quickly. This first one is burst. So we're going to do it in a certain order. Burst is last, creeper shape, small ball is going to be first, large ball is going to be second, and star. So, small ball, small ball, large ball, large ball, star, star, that was lovely. You got your creeper face. Uh, that's good. Nice combined pink and white. Hey, that's beautiful. That's nice. And then, of course, you have your burst, which is just kind of, you know, just, you just kind of, it's out. That's what it does. So you got all these different options to make different fireworks. But again, maybe you want to do that nice fade to. You got all these great different colors going on here. You want to throw a nice... Well, we'll get to these in just a second as well. <laughs> we'll just get a nice big old explosion just like that. Your fireworks star. So you could just add some paper here and shop a do shop a d. You're good to go. Alternatively, you can add the fade. So this is a nice cyan, pink, cyan, cyan. Maybe we just want it to fade to like all red. You know what I mean? Fades to some hardcore red. Now. You can do that with any combination of colors, up to eight colors as well. Once you've made the fireworks star, combine it with colors, and then add the paper fireworks. And you can see the difference here. Cyan and pink, but fades to red. You see? Did you see? It was beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's good. So I'm going to leave all that up to you to explore on your own. But the final secondary modifiers you can add involves making that firework star to begin with. So we're just going to add mm -hmm, just like that. We got the nice blue there. Let's have it fade to a good red. But before we do that, you can, oh, well, shoot, I messed up. So this is where your secondary modifiers come into play. So you can add only either a charge or or a creeper head, or a feather, or a gold nugget. You can't add both though. However, the secondary modifiers, glowstone dust and diamonds, you can in fact do. The glowstone dust will add a pleasant twinkle effect, which we'll show you in a second. And then in addition, you have the diamond, which will add a trail effect that will occur after the explosion as well. So we'll get that in there, and we'll throw a diamond in there as well. So now that we have that, we've got the trail, we got the twinkle, we're going to turn these into fireworks ever so quickly. You see, we got that first guy there. Get rid of you. We got the second guy there, which we're about to get rid of as well. And you can see the difference. So here's the twinkle. You can see it's got a nice little twinkle effect. You see the twinkle? Kind of just glints and glistens. And then, of course, you've got the trail effect, which has the trail that it gives off. Kind of makes it look like it's like a fade. You, you see? The, I, I hope you see the differences. Otherwise, there's no hope for you. So, that is essentially all that you can do with respect to making cool, awesome fireworks that have color fades, trail effects, twinkle effects, this, that, and the other. But now, you gotta utilize them somehow. You could just right click and make them shoot off, you know, where your inventory, wherever you're standing. But yeah, you know, what fun is that? You gotta make a nice little contraption. So we gonna bust this out. We gonna just throw a uh, few in there. We are gonna throw a uh, few in there and we gonna throw uh, a few in here and then look now I'll show you how to make these fun little ways to add little contraptions that will shoot off your fireworks at a distance maybe place it above a mountain it shoots off right where the party is or you got that burst fire uh, that burst shot you don't even know what's going on it just fires so many you have no idea what's happening we're gonna start with this one first though it's very simple I'm going to go ahead and pause and show you all the instructions you need. Right, you ready for this? We're going to do it real fast. Yeah. All right, it's going to be good. So, first start with the dispenser facing upwards. On top of it, place some redstone. Take three blocks of your choice in order to build this baby up. Put one right there, one right there, and then one right here. 
place your second piece of redstone right there. So we've now used the dispensers, we've now used the redstone, place a button wherever you want this launch to take off right there on the side. Now take your sticky piston right here, place it along the side of this redstone and then a slime block right there. Taking those care of as well, we already used the built blocks. Finally place your redstone repeater here, place your second one here, set this sucker down on a slight delay as seen here. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and place your fireworks in willy-nilly. In fact, I'm just going to break this, collect all the fireworks once again. And you're literally set up already. Your first firework launcher is done and simple. Load up your fireworks. Check out as they get launched super far. Boom! You see it? Oh, it's good. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, it just is so biased with the creepers, isn't it? Now, to build this second guy, we're going to keep it nice and simple for you and simply mirror it. So, what you're going to need is the following. Nine redstone, one comparator, five repeaters. You're going to need one or two dispensers. You're also going to need an immovable block, which is also happens to be a dispenser. So, I just got three dispensers, a stick of piston, a slime block, and either a wooden button or a stone button. Now, for this scenario, Ignore this side and pretend we're just going to be mirroring this as I said So we've technically already placed down the stone button and we've technically already placed down two redstone because again We're gonna be using these three parts right here. So With mirroring go ahead and right click and place down your comparator right here switch it invert it by right clicking it once have it in inverted mode that is very important that you do that wrap redstone around these portions bada boom bada bing you got your three redstone and then place one more right there so we've now just used four more redstone now this redstone piece is going to be leading into our first repeater don't touch it at all just place the repeater down now have a dispenser leading right here that's important have your second dispenser right here both facing each other also important take your final three redstone pieces boom 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 just like that. Now we can get rid of those, we can get rid of those, we can get rid of one of these. Now, have four repeaters going into a block that I forgot you needed. <laughs> right here, place four repeaters down, have them all on a full delay except for the last one. So, full delay, full delay, full delay, almost full delay. Only right click the last one two times. You're almost done being set up. We're gonna go ahead and break these so that we stay nice and simple looking. Place your sticky piston on top of the solid block right here. Then place a slime block right here. Yes, good so far. Now, your final block is going to go right here. This is the immovable block. Literally, just place that there so that when the piston gets activated, like this for example, you'll notice it, the slime block does not retract any of these because it's an immovable block. But now you'll see, press this guy, you've got an ultimate burst fire that will eventually knock all these babies in this general direction. Once you've done that, and you're nice and set up, you can just take some of these right over here. It's not, it's looking pretty good. So, boom, 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 boom. Got a lot to choose from. Alternatively, and this is what I was talking about, you could alternatively just use one of the dispensers and this is a little bit about how it would look you see you, they, they all get fired off fairly slow rate looks like four are fired if you use that alternatively you bust this guy out you get all those babies in there you now have double shot and that's what the repeater comes into play for because it causes them to be slightly off tick so you see now look you got some ultimate firing range doing that now the final thing comes into play is with stone versus a wooden button now, a stone button is actually pressed down for a smaller amount of time. See, watch. Boop. Boop. But wooden. Substantially longer, which also means it has a chance to fire off more burst fire fireworks. Say that five times fast. But that's about it, friends. You now know a little bit more about fireworks. Well, I mean, I hope you do. And you now have two awesome firework launchers for you to add to your Minecraft world should you decide you want to have them for some purpose or another. Fun for server events, fun for creative mode, fun for things that involve fireworks in general. Again, once again, a big thank you to Koala EIO for the inspiration for these cool firework builders. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you want to see interesting videos like this, underutilized Minecraft features, 
or just things about Minecraft you may not have known in general, then uh, just let me know by dropping a like rating on the video. Of course, be subscribed for future Minecraft videos, including more Minecraft content surrounding features you may not use. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We will see you later.